Hi guys, we're back with sessions 44. This time we're going to talk about the patient on mechanical ventilation. Patient who, um, the indications for it, an ABG. Patient and family education. Checking for breath sounds and troubleshooting the ventilator and the patient in ARDS. Now we all know that it must be pretty frightening if you have someone taken to the hospital and put in mechanical ventilation, especially if you've never been exposed to a hospital or a patient on a ventilator. This can be quite a frightening experience. So here is Jimmy, a 21-year-old, who was transported to the ER by paramedics. He was receiving, he was recovering from pneumonia, I'm sorry, at home when he developed respiratory distress. His respirations are only 6, oxygen saturation 86. Now an arterial blood gas was drawn and hypoxia was identified. Now you must take into account in the ER there is a medical team there, the doctors there, orders are being given. So the orders were given for an arterial blood gas and obviously the condition of this patient seems to indicate that he needs to be put on a ventilator because he's not breathing enough on his own. He's put on a ventilator which for him must be quite a frightening experience but more than that how about his family members who are waiting outside to find out what's going on. We must not forget what it feels like to be in their position. So once you have that patient stabilized on the ventilator it's important that one of the medical staff go and discuss with the family, bring them in talk to the patient and family about why they had to be vented and of course allay the family's fears. This will help a great deal. Also bear in mind that when a patient is put on a ventilator there are certain things that have to be addressed like let's take the lung sounds. If you check for lung sounds and there is no <clears throat> movement on one side, typically what's happened the ET tube has slipped into the right main stem bronchus you have to be sure that when you check with the stethoscope you're getting air movement on both sides. Another test that's done is the chest x-ray and this will tell you if the tube is in the right place. So these are some of the things that you can pay attention to if you should be put in that position. And very often patients who are intubated become very agitated because they're scared with the tube being in their throats so they might require some sedation to help them through. Now one of the things that we must pay attention to is never walk away from an alarming ventilator. Here is a patient who is, he's got secretions in his airway, his hand is up to the tube and the nurse, he hears, hears the alarm going off and the nurse says, there goes that alarm again. I'm really busy and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Now that is never good enough to walk away. What could be done, the nurse should immediately start troubleshooting the cause of the problem. There might be water, too much water in the tubing. This happens sometimes as you get that humidifier and that water starts to bubble up. Tubes may need emptying. Also you might have a disconnected tube. What about if one of those tubes was disconnected from the patient? Then there's a good chance that patient is not getting enough oxygen. Another thing that you ought to be concerned about if you have a patient who can talk around his ET tube, that little balloon that's blown up to the side to keep that tube in place is obviously lacking air, so you, you will need to have more air put. Follow your institution's instructions for doing that, please. Now let's take a look at the patient in ARDS, which is Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome. There might be a number of causes, pneumonia, near drowning, <clears throat> you may have massive blood uh, transfusions, pancreatitis, trauma, sepsis. Whatever the cause, it's obvious that a patient in ARDS, take the patient who's in trauma, had a trauma, comes into the ER and is taken to ICU and all of a sudden becomes very agitated, oxygen saturation goes down, the ventilator alarms are going off and you really don't know what to do. You need to do an assessment, let the doctor know you document this of course, and in this case, patient's case, like we're seeing where the doctor arrives after being called by the nurse, an assessment is done. It's obvious this patient does a chest x-ray and a complete workup arterial blood gas. This patient is obviously in arteri adult respiratory distress syndrome. 
ARDS. So ventilator settings have been adjusted and of course some sedation and uh, neuromuscular blockade was used in this case and this has obviously took care of the problem. It's a long story. You have to work in intensive care to appreciate this. Hope you've learned something for today. Stay posted for more clinical situations.